Hi everyone, welcome back to Colouring with Kate. Thank you for joining me today. So um, it's probably the favourite time of the month which is sharing our completed pictures. So um, I think I completed about 12 um, this month which isn't too bad. Um, so I'm quite pleased and I also um, did quite a lot of the ones that I'd picked for what's in my colouring bag in September. So without further ado let's get started. So move Kitty out the way and let's have a look. So I'm going to start off with my PDF this time. So I completed only one PDF um, this month and that's this one. So this is a page of um, <coughs> a seller on Etsy called Favo Reads and um, yeah they've got just beautiful pictures so yeah I decided to do this one and um, so we have gold Clearo paint I think yes yeah, so a gold fine tech Clearo paint the background is on this side is um, the Paul Rubens phosphorescent paints I don't know if you can see the um, fine glitter there I mean I can see it <coughs> excuse me my throat is being a bit weird today and um, on the other side um, which I'm going to show in my next haul is the graphite tint, Derwent graphite tint paints so you can see um, I wanted it to be quite a bit of a contrast with a dark background and then a really bright background so um, I used uh, what did I use, did I use gosh I can't remember yes I used watercolour watercolour pencils I think I used the um, Caran d'Ache what they're called um, super colours that's it super colours and then I went I just outlined the flowers with a silver uniball gel pen I used glaze pen on parts I used the Pentel Joel Metallic Hybrid and Arteza gel pens um, and yeah really I, I, I like it I think it's quite nice I really like the fact that it stands out with the gold so yeah I hope you can see the shimmer and the shine there so that's that one the PDF out the way so this is one that I hadn't picked to do um, in my September bag but I did it because I wanted to colour a page showing um, using all the magic fly mediums that I was sent uh, so kindly for review and um, I used the magic fly acrylic paints for the background which is a re really straightforward there's nothing special I did here um, it just looks really nice and um, just to say that I am going to do a video hopefully next month because uh, a few of you asked if I could show how I did this background and really there's nothing to it at all um, it's so so easy that I don't even call it a technique because it's so easy but I will show you um, it's just it's taken time to get around to it and then I've got the um, majority of this is pencil work with the magic fly pencils and I think the pencil work is beautiful they worked really nice on this paper and I'm really pleased with the blends the pigments and and you know this was watercolor pencil which worked quite well um, I've got to be honest though, um, I I preferred the coloured pencils much more than the watercolour pencils. Um, so yeah, I preferred them. Um, but I think the pencils worked really nice and the acrylic paint's just gorgeous so I have to use that more. A little bit of um, sort of a glitter paint there, just on the circumference of the um, circle or the perimeter of it and yeah that's uh, I really did like it yeah I thought that was I really like these little books I just need to work in them more um, just put that in there like that we need to take the tags out I always forget to do that but yes yeah, so that's that one the miniature enchanted forest by Johanna Basford and then let's get to the next one so I coloured a page in a million llamas bring you out a little bit maybe a lot there okay and of course it's by Lulu Mayo so 
I did I think I did the background of this on um, camera so I have got a video of how I did the background which was pan pastel and then to seal it I used um, some decor art galaxy glitter clear ice comet um, and then there's just the metallic paints on there um, there's some loose glitter here that you can see the red and over here on the flowers and on the jacket of this cute bunny and on the jacket of this little magician rabbit and um, yeah I'm happy with how I coloured it I used red metallic paint um, that's from that's called Christmas Red from Renaissance Colours on Etsy um, I wanted to try them out and gosh that is a beautiful red definitely a Christmas red um, and yeah I, I really do like it I like how I've used I like how I've coloured the mushrooms as well I thought they were really nice so um, yeah I like everything about this picture I'm happy with this one um, I'm not quite so happy with well some other pictures I think they're okay but you know I'm pleased with this one I think I did a fairly good job so yeah that's the magician's hat which was a lot of fun to do so that's that one next one oops, I did a page in colour morphia so um, many of you said to do the anchor page so because I thought there was more comments asking me to do that page I did that page At another time I will I will do this one because I, I do really like this one as well um, so take the tag out to show you this so yeah this is my completed picture for that I think it looks um, I think it looks quite nice um, I like it about let's say seven out of ten maybe yeah um so I think I did a graphite tint background again with paint yeah graphite tint paint background and then I used um the cosmic shimmer lunar paste and a stencil to do this it went a bit wrong here um but you know it happens and then usual metallic paints glitter paints coluro fine tech paints there on these sort of water droplet type things i guess i don't know exactly what they are i used them um, the on the actual anchor i used the cosmic shimmer gosh the the mika powder mika powder um watered it down and then yeah used that i think it was the bronze i've forgotten the actual name uh, but yeah the anchor is shimmering i don't know if you can see that um and then i did use watercolor and i used pencil to so use like as usual i used like lots of different mediums all mixed up um but yeah i do like it um, I just think it's not maybe um, I don't know I just it's it's still good let's leave it at that it's still good but um, it could have been better I guess but there you go so yeah that's that one so that was in Colour Morphia by Kirby Rosans the next one is in move that bottle out of the way because it keeps making noise Dream Garden Mythographic by Fabiana Atanasio so the one I did in here um, you might have seen in my Mythographic completed pages flip which was a video that I recently did um, it was this one and I am pleased with this one I do like this one I like the brickwork that I used the, the Kohinoor Tritone pencils um just i think they give a nice effect a brick like effect then i used these new paints for these um bits here and even the um glittery bit on the fish <coughs> excuse me i used um some lovely paints that were sent to me to try out from diane farris um i think she's in the us and she offered to send me some just to try out because she watches my video and she just wanted to 
to um, send me them so I will make a separate Happy Meal video of that haven't got round to it yet but yeah look look how nice look how nice her paints are absolutely beautiful so yeah really really uh, I'm grateful for those paints and um, you know me and metallic and watercolour paints just love them and then I think I used the Art Spirits um, ocean set paints to do this water and I for the first time I tried to well it might have been more than like I might have done it before but it's more pronounced on here where I've tried to blend it with the other colours and I think the effect is quite nice I think I did okay with the blending of the metallic watercolours um, can't remember I think this might be some other sort of silvery metallic paint but I'm not sure <clears throat> again on here on this stone here I've used the Tritone pencils can't remember what I used here for the clouds um, some sort of glittery paint but I don't write things down do I so all the time so yes yeah, so that's that one so um, yeah that's I'm happy with that one I think that's like a eight and a half out of ten so these are all my sort of marks that I give marks that I give out of ten for what I think of them okay so the next book um, is Cottage Dreams which is a colourful moments book by Ursula Schwab I think yeah Ursula Schwab and Cor Cordula Martins I don't know if I've said that right so apologies if I haven't and this was um, a buddy colour with Lucy so Lucy asked if I wanted to do a buddy colour in this book and I said of course so this is Lucy from Lucy just adds colour and um, we both had this book so we both recently purchased it and we decided to colour this lovely cottage page so let's get in there a little bit a bit breathless I went downstairs uh, just to put the shopping away um, that my husband brought in so there you go and um, yeah uh, this reminds me of a little cottage house that um, Lucy might be purchasing because it opens up to the field but I would love a little cottage house like that as well um, in the field gosh it looks just perfect doesn't it um, so of course I can't keep away from metallic stuff and shiny stuff so there's gel pen there there's there's um, there's silver on the clouds lining uh, you know lining the clouds as well inside there's also some don't know some sparkly stuff there which I can't remember what I used and then I have some pumpkins here as well and I put some gel pen accents I think it was Pentel Dual Metallic Hybrid for the grass um, I can't remember I used a variety of pencils then I used something else on top I don't know what's happened there but it looks a bit odd um, uh, yeah not sure what's going on there I used some new paints that I got from Renaissance um, colours which was the crown jewel set and I saw those paints um, on Debbie's Colour Me Stress Freeze channel and oh, they looked so beautiful that I really you know me I cannot stay away from them so it's very fortunate enough to be able to um, order them so hopefully you'll see them on my next haul um, but yeah thanks thanks to her I was I was definitely enabled um, you know me I, I really like metallic watercolors so yeah that's on the roof and borders of the door and the window but yeah really nice so thank you Lucy for um, doing this buddy colour with me and um, hopefully I will be able to insert her picture here okay so there we go so that's that one oh gosh can we put stuff away properly um, need to cut these down to size really but don't know when I'll get to do that okay and then the circle of life of course I colour in this every month um, but I won't be colouring it in I won't be colouring in this book I don't think during October because I'm going to pick some other books that I haven't worked in for ages you know more like Halloween themed and um, you can see how it's getting a bit mucky here the book you know with um, pencil marks and things but anyway 
let's get into it so this here acorn was also a buddy colour um, with um, I think um, the lady is called Anna hope I've got that right and it's pretty pages 71 on um, Instagram and also um, she has a channel which is the same name pretty pages 71 so thank you um, Anna for doing this buddy colour with me and um, yeah this is the the acorn and I remember I said for my video for colouring bag for September that I wanted to just use pencil and make it you know not not add too many special effects um, but and I didn't the only thing I added on the actual picture itself was gel pen and this metallic chrome paint for the moon but everything else is pencil on the actual acorn itself um, and then I couldn't help myself but do a border with this um, I don't know if you can see the gold shimmer but it's just pan pastel down first so I use pan pastel I, I really do like the colours I used and then over it I put um, Deco Art Galaxy Glitter Gold so yeah I think um, the background looks really nice. I'm really pleased with that. The pencil colouring's um, quite good, um, but I have to say, um, I don't think it's my style to just use pencil. It just isn't. Um, I I don't think I am sort of fulfilled or satisfied if I just use pencil. I have to use other mediums. So I'm gonna just just colour the way that that suits me which is in future um, and I think the pictures still look nice um, but yeah my style is is to use lots of different mediums including pencil which is one of my favourite mediums but I have to add other stuff otherwise um, it doesn't do it for me so right the second page let me just put this uh, tracing paper over it there we go um, so that's that and the other page I did was this one which was um, a mandala or mandala however we say it however you say it um, so yeah I was really pleased with this one I really like the background um, gosh what was it now oh it was gel crayons so I think it was gel crayons that I used on the background and then um, I used a stencil with a baby wipe and you get this effect got to be careful not to rub too much onto the paper because it will pill it so I have to be a bit careful so that that and that was with the baby wipe whereas this was with um, another gel crayon um, which I used with a foundation brush over the stencil so yeah I like the glitter on the water I like the colors I've used I like how I've colored everything in pencil um, I think I used polychromos and Pris prismacolor and they work beautifully in this book um, well they work beautifully in most books do those two pencil brands there's glaze pen um, and yeah happy with that one I think um, that looks like a picture from me yeah because it's got all the stuff that I usually put on it so yeah that's that one so yeah, I'm going to give this a break for October, but I should be getting back to it in November. Right, next one. Managed to colour in Clara Markova's Fairy Celebrations. Um, so I'm really pleased with it. And it was this cover image that I was going to do. So rather than do my pink, I did mine in... Whoops, let everything fall out as well. I did mine in um, blue. So take this out. I did write down for this one on the opposing page what I used but yeah this is it let you have a good look at it first and I'm actually pleased with this I would say again eight and a half possibly even nine uh, but yeah eight and a half or nine out of ten for this one I think in my opinion remember so you might not like it but yeah I, I, I do really like this one um, I used ink tents uh, pencil in fact what did I use for the background I used Polly's Renaissance Fortune watercolour so basically all of the background was pencil 
polychromous pencil I rarely do a whole pencil background because of course it takes too long but then all these gold bits here that you can see and on the background is the Renaissance Fortune watercolour paint. I use ink tense pencils, pastel or pencils, prismas, light fast gel pens I use were Uniball, Signo, pastel, glaze pens, metallic watercolours from Diane again, um, Diane Farris, who you can find on Instagram, um, loose glitters um, were Nouveau Bluebell. Oh, there we are. That's in the love heart there. That's Nouveau Bluebell. And Finna, Finna Bear Pink. Oh, can't find where the pink glitter is. Oh, might be that one there. But I'm not 100% sure. So, um, these paints here that you can see were from Diane Farris. I mean, look how gorgeous those pinks are so beautiful so yeah i'm really pleased with this one i'm happy with it um i have picked another clara markova book to not book page in another book of hers to do in october so yeah so that's fairy celebrations next one is seasons so seasons is again um by hannah carlson so the one i did in here were was this one so is the one with the bugs oh dear look what's happened there it was dry before but you can see it because of because i've used glossy accents i'll have to sort that out but later but yeah because i use glossy accents i think this thinner um thing is basically stuck to it unfortunately but yeah, um, I have got glossy accents, like I said, on here, on the central bit. Um, underneath it is pencil. Um, the background, let me talk you through the background because I did write down what I used. I used the Lustrous Black Arteza Acrylic Paint. So that's all on the background. And then Windsor & Newton Gold Ink, which I splattered on and I had the idea from... Kirsty from Kirsty Colour and Sketch because I I saw her on her one of her pictures. I mean her pictures are all gorgeous, but the one with the double page, with the butterfly going through well the caterpillar going through to become a butterfly chrysalis page, in Circle of Life, and she'd used the gold ink I think there, and it just looked fabulous. And I have it, but I haven't used it, so she spurred me on. So I used that. I used Opal Blaze Polish that you can see on the edges here. Can you see there? And on black it looks stunning, I think. Um, and that was the Teal Raspberry Opal Blaze Polish. Stardust Calero. I guess that's this bit here. Let's try to make it as if it's shining. I used other Calero paints and a variety of pencils. So I wanted all the flies to be um, sort of similarish colours. So... You know, greens, blues, turquoise, that sort of thing. Blue, you know, purples. So, yeah, I'm quite pleased with it. Um, I'm not going to put this other sheet in there, just in case it sticks again. Um, and, yeah, I mean, there's a little bit of paper on there, but it'll do. It'll be fine. So, that's that. So, Seasons by Hannah Carlson. And then I did a bit of a colour and chat um, where I was using coloured pencils and different mediums um, that you might have seen on my channel. Um, and I think I released it previous to this video. So this is Creative Haven in Tangle Starry Skies. So many of you said to do this page, which was the couple page, as opposed to the one with the cat and the mouse. Was it? No, not the cat and the mouse. The cat and the owl. And now I can't find it. Oh, there it is. The cat and the owl and the bird. So I chose this one then uh, because many of you picked, you know, said your choice was to do this one. So I went with that. And so, yeah, I mean, I used Inktense pencils for the background. Um, and usually they're not patchy when I use them, but on this paper it did, they didn't work as well. I've used some Opal Blaze polish on top. Like I say, in the video you see me using some of these different mediums. 
that's um, chrome paint followed by cosmic shimmer um, chrome paste which is sort of the textury material you can see on top glaze black glaze uh, sakura pen for the couple so it looks like a silhouette a shiny silhouette and then on this bridge I've used uh, the tritone pencils again for brickwork I think they work really well for brickwork I think I use some Arteza pencils for this bit here then glaze pens um, as well there got some metallic paints as well and gel pens use my chameleon fine liners for these and the blending's not massively brilliant but I like the effect that it does give it's still nice um, the blending could be better with it but I guess you know the way that you use those chameleon fine liners you've um, got to get the timings right for the blend so I guess it's experience and I, and I don't use them that often and then I've got a spectrum now sparkle gold for the border and then a pentel dual metallic for these blue bits and yeah lots of different media as usual but yeah it's yeah it was it was nice doing this one um something different so that's that one and then the last one which counts for one of the challenges for colour and chat with sammy um it was for one person to colour one like a buddy a, a buddy colour split page uh, so I got my husband to, well, he wouldn't colour the whole page, the other the other side of the whole page, but he coloured two um, insects on this page, and then I did the rest. So I hope it still counts for that challenge, because there's no one else really that's going to colour with me, I'm afraid. Um, so, and, and then this page I did myself as well. So I've got some washi tape here, which I recently bought. Um, I'm really pleased with that, I'm really pleased with I'm going to definitely be adding more washi tape where the page allows, you know, where the space to to add it because I've got a lot of gold and black washi tape I wanted to use it and then I've got some Stickles Glitter Gel on the background I wasn't actually going to add that, I was just going to leave it plain um, but then I smudged some of the gel pen um, on the background of the page and I didn't like the smudged look so therefore I put this on top to hide it so yeah the two insects that my husband coloured was this one and this one so he coloured those two and he did them first and he was so like so happy with them and he was saying oh what do you think of them what do you think of them do you think I've done it well and and you know I said yeah of course you have they're really nice then I started to colour the other insects and uh, he looked at he looked at the page then and he goes minor crap aren't they I says no they're not this is they're still nice I says if you, all you need is experience of colouring and we all get better yeah that's my split buddy page so I'm glad to have done that as another challenge um, on the you know the checklist the checklist colouring challenge from Sammy on colour and chat with Sammy so yeah I used you know what I've used for yeah that's the glitter stickles glitter gel um, can't remember which one it was but then I've got metallic paints the usual stuff um, glitter paints <clears throat> lots of different pencils gel pens and things and yeah so yeah I really like this double page and that's it really that's all my completed pages so I really do hope you enjoyed my completed pages for this month and until next time take care bye